Good afternoon. Or is it still morning time? How are you guys Barely. doing? Barely? <laughs> All right. I tell you what, it was was this practice ten for us and uh this is a this is a critical time in camp. Um because like we talked about the new the newness has worn off and the game is still a little bit ways away. So this is what you call the dog days of camp, right? And so uh we really had to push them hard today. Um, but they responded and that's what that's what I really like about this group is that uh, they respond to to coaching. Uh, they respond to harsh criticism. Um, and um, I'm just asking for more leadership out of this group of guys, guys that have played a lot of ball, guys that know what it's all about. You know, um, you know, leadership is always going to come from the coaches, but um, ownership with the players is uh, that's really when you know you got something. And we're getting it here and there, um, but we need more. We're going to ask for more. We're going to demand more and, and keep you know, pressing these guys, and we just got to stay on them, stay on them, stay on them. Um, you know, every day we can't, cannot let up at one moment, and that's what we did today. We kept pushing. Uh, guys are coaching hard, and we're pushing these guys through uh, so we can get better because we don't have a day to waste. So it was a, it was a hard hat, you know, no French pastry, meat and potatoes type day. It was, no, it was n nothing really eventful. It was uh, no flash. It was just a really um, – Really hard work day. You probably don't like have days like like that, but do you expect to have a couple days in camp where you have to push them? And Absolutely. Them Absolutely. That's why they call me coach. You got to push these guys, and and uh, and that's to be expected. You know, you got to. That's why, you know, as a coach, you know, you have to anticipate and have the heartbeat of your team, and have a pulse on your team, and know what to expect when you walk. When I walk into that meeting room. You know, at 7:30 in the morning every day, you know I have a feel for in our coach. We have a feel for our guys. You know, when we come out and we stretch, and the guys are warming up. You know, we, we you, you can feel you can feel the vibe. You can feel the energy, and what and what the what the atmosphere is uh, of that team. You can feel that, and you have to be ready to match that. You have to be ready to counter that. You have to be ready to enhance it, whatever you have to do as a coach to get your guys ready to go and, and get them better. And that's what we that's what we did today, and that's the great part. And as long as the players are bought in and they respond, then you got something. You got a chance to get better. And uh, this is a human performance business, and what we're doing out here is not natural. You know, it's not it's not it's not the easiest thing. It's not for everyone. And so we we that's why we need the coach and we need to push, and then we need leaders that know what it's all about and they understand what the standard is they, and they help help lead and help push guys and and so we're getting more of that but yeah i i appreciate days like this i just wish it was 10 degrees hotter coach your tight ends are seeming to be more and more making some plays for you on a consistent basis is that whole group kind of taking a step so far in camp i, I would definitely say that the group is taking a step i mean um we're going to use our tight ends, and you see them in practice. You know they're always uh, first and foremost. They have to do a great job blocking for us. But in the passing game, we target all of our tight ends. You know Brady Russell st uh, stepped up, um, Darian Jones has stepped up, and uh, you know those, we, we're going to have a, we're going to have you know th three or four guys that we can use um, in in the, in the run game and in the pass game. So I'm happy with that position. Coach Papunu has done has done a great job. I mean, he's a he's a guy who's been there, has done that. I think he played nine years in the NFL, um, and so he knows what it takes, and he knows how to coach the, the details of the of the position in the run game and in the passing game. And so our our, our guy should thrive um, in in our system. What was your initial reaction when you found out you were inheriting a 32 year old kicker? <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like doesn't surprise me. There's always something, right? You know, um, with guys, but I asked him the day before he before he uh, attempted his first kick at the end of practice. You know, I walked up to him. He was he was uh, walking off his steps. I said, "How old are you again?" You know, he says, "32, coach." I said, "Oh, really? Okay." And he just banged it right through. You know, so uh, it's it's a it's a good thing. I think it's a good story. I'm pulling for him. You know, and uh, he does well. We do well. So, um, you know, he's a he's a he's a good he's a good young man still, and um, and I love being around him got a lot of a lot of competition back there is that safety spot you're looking at a whole lot of different guys is that a, is that a place that has to come 
take a big step for it? Oh yeah, we, we you have to have a cohesive sound playmaking secondary that attacks the football. Um, right now we have to have more communication. Um, I talked to you last week uh, about the perimeter run force, which is something that we that we have to improve on. We're working on that. Um, and being able to make plays in space, you know, space tackling in the secondary is is huge. And it's not the easiest thing to do in the world. So we do a lot of drills for that. Um, but um, you know, we don't need just two guys. You know, we need four or five guys to be able to play those positions, so we have depth and so we can play our nickel and our dime package like we want to. A lot of the running backs have said that this camp, you as a coaching staff, have asked them to better themselves in situations where they don't have the ball, as opposed to carrying the ball. How has that position group responded to challenges just to be better pass protectors, better route runners, and doing things where they're not uh, the focus during a given play? I see them embracing that challenge, and there's competition at, 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 that, at that spot, um, just like most of the other positions. So um, we know we're going to we're going to play the best players. So you know it's one thing to be able to run the ball, but pass protection um, is very, very important. Um, to be able to, to, to go out there and help us execute, taking care of the football, keeping the ball high and tight um, is something that we emphasize. And so um, I, like, I like that group. Um, I see these guys step up and, uh, and, and pick up blitzes, um, and, and uh, they don't seem like they're afraid to do that. So um, you know, Coach has done a great job. Coach Hagan's done a great job. You know, he, he, know, he knows the game. He knows what it takes. They, they, they respect him and they like him and they want to, they want to, they want to play, they want to play well for him. Anything jump out of you from looking at the film on the scrimmage? I wouldn't say anything jumped out um, other than the fact that we have a lot of guys offensively that can make plays. Well, I mean, we just, it was just a bunch of guys. I mean, receivers, running backs, tight ends. I don't know how many guys caught passes it was over 20, it was 22 guys caught, caught passes. And, um, and so, you know, that's a good thing. And so that, that means that we have um, good competition. We're gonna be able to play a lot of players um, and we'll have, we'll have balance that we need. You know, everyone, everyone knows that uh, LaVisca, you know, is, is a great player, um, but we have other guys that can pr produce as well. Um, that, that, really stuck, that really stuck out to me. Thanks, man. Thanks, Thanks Coach. Man.